Hey, what's up Fisher Unitech community? Toby Schnars here, and for today's tech tip, we're gonna talk about how to make a screw in SolidWorks. Now this process is actually gonna involve several steps. We're gonna start out by making the head of the screw. We're then gonna create a helix, and then we're gonna sweep some threads along that helix. Next, we're gonna assign the material to the screw. And finally, we're gonna finish up by creating both a left-hand and a right-hand version of the screw. So the first thing we need to decide is what type of screw are we going to create. In this case, you can see that I've downloaded the specification for a hex cap screw. And we're going to start out by creating the first screw that's on this chart, a quarter 20 hex cap screw. So now that we've decided on what type of screw we're going to create, let's start a new part. And we're going to start this as a part in inches, since our specification is in inches. We're going to go to the right plane and we're going to begin a sketch. And then we're going to begin the polygon tool. Now the polygon tool in sketch mode allows you to create a polygon with any number of sides. We're going to choose six sides here and we're going to drop our polygon in place. Now one thing you should be aware of when you're working with the polygon tool is that you can still rotate the polygon tool after you drop it. So you want to make sure that you select one of those points and then assign a vertical relationship to the origin. That way you can no longer rotate that polygon. All right, now we're ready to add our first dimension. And if we look back at our specification, we can see this is actually our A dimension, the flat to flat here on the hex, and that the dimensional value is 0 0.4280. All right, I think that looks pretty good. It's a fully defined sketch. I think we're ready to extrude it. But one final thing we could do is we could go into this view pull down menu, and we can choose this command here, view dimension names. And then what we could do is we could go to the command instant 2d and make sure that it is not enabled if instant 2d is enabled you're gonna get this this is not what you want so instead we're gonna make sure instant 2d is not enabled and then we're gonna double click on that dimension and we're gonna click in this upper section of the box here and we're gonna change the dimensional value to a and that way you can see the dimensional value shows up there as a pretty cool right now we can go here to Features, Extruded Boss Base, and we can extrude that out to our set distance. In this case, our distance is gonna be our H dimension, which is 0 0.150. Make sure that's going in the correct direction. I think that that's looking pretty good. And just like with the A dimension, we can make sure that Instant 3D is not enabled, and we can then double click on the head and then double click on this point 150 and we can click in this upper section of the box and say we want that to be dimension H. This is going to make it much easier for us if we decide to take this model and do a save as and give it a new name to define a new size. Or maybe if we wanted to go in and work with configurations to define some new sizes, it's going to be much easier if these dimension names are aligned to our specification chart. So on that note, let's save this model. You can see I've created a new directory here, and I'm just going to call it quarter 20 hex cap screw. And now that we've got that model saved, you can see that we're ready to move on to the next feature, which is going to be the rounding off of the head. So we're going to go here to the front plane and begin a sketch, and we're going to start out by just creating a center line right down the center of the head of this screw. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple triangle here simple triangle like so with a dimension as as our specification defines at 30 degrees and then we're going to define the diameter here to be the same as the a dimension now a little quick trick that you can do here in SolidWorks is you can say you want this dimension to equal and then you can double click on the head here to bring up its dimensions and then you can click on the a dimension so what that does is it sets us up so that the diameter of this cut round that we're going to do here features revolved cut the diameter of this cut round on the inside here is always going to touch off exactly at tangent of the flat to flat distance because the diameter is the same as the flat to flat distance so again when we move forward and we decide to make a different size of screw here we can just double click on this dimension you know change it to a larger size 0.650 and we can see that both of the dimensions update pretty nice little trick there right all right, let's change that back to 0.428, and let's save our model. I think at this point we're ready to move on to the next step, but we're going to capture that in the next video. We're going to create the shaft, and then we're going to create the helix. So be sure to join us in the next video. Bye-bye.